Hey folks, PCOCast here, back with more Tower of Time. And as you can see, we are winding down on the entrance level. Oh, apparently we have these uh, challenges we can do too. I forgot all about that. Uh, this one's gold, gold, gold. A little bit of gold, a little bit of gold. Okay, a little bit of gold for all those. Risen, gold, and uh, various crafting crystals. Hmm. I think these, since these are just kind of test your party composition and skills type things, I'll probably just do this, uh, do this in my own time, I guess. Might as well, eh? Oh, 2,000 health, 4,000 health. Oh, we get more and more health and more and more resistance. It's 10,000 health, 80 resistance. 100 resistance. 150! 200% resistance? How do you overcome that? Oi! Small group of risen. Challenge. Easy, easy. Hard. It's a trap! Very hard. Epic. Ooh, you get an obsidian edge too. Wow. Oh yeah, you get some like super nice stuff. These training dummies are just like basically testing out your your crew and stuff. Anyway, let's move on to more things. So, um, Kane's now maxed out as far as uh, the, actually, let's just see, the armory. Yeah, like we don't have the blueprint needed or the money. We don't have the blueprint to level them up, uh, to level up the armory to the next thing. So Kane is, at, is as high as he's going to go. And apparently we are not going to get, though we might still, it's possible we could get another blueprint, but I'm kind of thinking that's probably on the next, the next level, or at least with one of these big boss fights. That is what I'm guessing, imagining. I mean, there's only three more fights to go, and I think one of them is not actually necessary. Right? Whoa! Alright. I think I might didn't see the map like this from this perspective before. What was that? Relic chest. Did I miss a chest? Small chest. Oh. You know what? What's that? That looks like a chest, too. That's a small chest, but it's... Yeah, we've been down there. I think these are chests that I actually missed. What do you know? Let's... Can we, uh... Teleport? Teleport over to here. And... Oh, right, there's those guys there that we almost ran right into. So it should be a chest. Ah! And you like, look at the size of that thing. Oh, it's a mimic. 2250 health. Lovely. And it can heal itself and it can pull. Okay. So there's mimics. That's a shame. Mm hmm. Okay, where is he coming from? <laughs> Hoppity hop. Okay, you... So what's this guy? Uh, he's got resistances to everything. Of course he does. And of course she's being targeted as well. Oh, she can pull. Oh no. Move up. She got pulled. Pull back. Come, come back, 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 back. Ugh. You do, uh, cast the ant over there. Can she get out of there now? Good. Okay, you get in there and start, uh, whacking away. I guess you might as well do a jump into place. Cast that. Start blasting him. She can maybe, I don't know. 
try, uh, try, um, oh, that took a lot of damage down. Don't know if he, if it blinded him at all, but seems to be working all right. Oh, oh, that's, he's doing some sort of new boss stage. What else can you do? Oh, you can also do that, uh, thing. Yeah. That. Going on? Why are you? Why are you moving away? Is everybody? Oh, everybody's confused. Oh no, dude, dude. Uh. Oh, I can't do anything. He's gonna die. Heal. No, not that one. Heal. Whew. Um, do a heal on him as well. Can we take him? Ooh, he's like regenerating health. And whatever this thing is, it's like expanding. Oof, that was close. Poor Kane. All right, we got an arcane steel buckler of lesser fireproof. So that's got fire resistance as well as other things, and it can be enchanted. Mountainous steel bassinet, bassinet of mana pool. That's extra mana, health, armor regeneration. I mean, armor penetration, etc., and a ton of money. Nice. Okay, so we go back out and, um, well, it's not there anymore. All right. So that buckler, he can use it. It's not, has less armor, got mastery. It is a purple, so there's a chance of being uh, enchanted. Also that one. Doesn't have the life steal. Yeah. I guess she can she use this? No? Wrong item for class. Okay, so she can't use a buckler. I thought maybe because it was a buckler it might be usable by um whatever her class is, I guess like a ranger or whatever. But no. Okay, so this is actually not really any... At the moment, it's not better than what, what I have. If I can upgrade it, it might be good. Maybe, possibly. Anything else? No. Okay. Good enough. So that's that one. Um, and then there's another one over here. Small chest. I don't know if I missed it, or if it's another Mimic. Yeah, let's kind of avoid those guys for right now. I might fight them if I feel like I have nothing better to do. Where's this chest you speak of? Is it up here? Oh! Yes? Can I? No? Can I go up here? Yeah, it's right there. How do I get that? Oh, it's just a chest. Okay. Um, we got a reinforced steel great helm. How does that compare to what we've got? Oh, it's that one. Mm, it's got health and mana increase. But a little bit less, just a little bit less armor. Also loses some speed. What does it do to health? That's a fair bit. Yeah, it's an extra like 11 health. Sure. Let's do it. Okay, so we uh, found a couple of extra chests. 
Well, we found an extra chest and a mimic. Okay, so do I attack this guy? Attack this guy. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to try this one. The secret battle. It's like an elite magi or something like that. Ooh. Let's see down to a lower level there. Nice. Uh, which, which way? What's that way? I don't know why my map is constantly zoomed out now. All right, let's save before we get murdered. Um, save over that one. So we've got an elite Magi spirit. This actually might not be too bad. I think we've already fought one of these. All right. And these guys should be weak to fire. Yep. Um, let's use you to put a thing across there. And use you to put down an int right there. Oh, he's actually able to attack him. Are you? And no, nah, we'll just wait. Oh, he's going down. He's going down hard. These guys are kind of not. They're just floating towards me. Oh, they're totally. They're totally dead. HP being drained. Another guy coming up there. There's just not a lot for me to do that. That, like, you know, the dash thing. There's not a lot of them together. Fine, I'll do him. Take him in. Nice. Can he get over there to attack? I think they're just gonna slaughter him anyway. So that was not difficult at all. And we got an arcane glass mace of sparks, which is also a relic level item. So that was not nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be. This is basically not that great, um, but it is upgradable. So what goodies await us over here? First, uh, our first secret passage now. What do we have here? It must have been a mining facility. Mining? As in precious stones? Come on. You really must curtail your lust for wealth, Maeve. No good comes of such pursuits. Corrupted gauntlets. Six armor, fire resistance, bunch of nice resistances. Reduced health regeneration, that kind of sucks, but extra health. Um, if you have, n is it possible to have negative health regen so you're li literally going down in health? I wonder. I mean, that adds a lot of resistances, but will kill his health regen. What is his health regen at right now? Um, that mana region. Does it not list my... Oh, there. Health regen is 1.9. Which is pretty good. But this is going to drop it to 0.9. Mmm, more armor, more resistance. A 
little bit more health. I'd lose mana, mana penetration and lose um, armor penetration. does give him a lot of resistances and a lot of health. Grab the gold. Oh, and we got another journal. Day two of Elidris Media. The food is slowly running out and we still have not found a way to leave the tower. It has shifted too deep underground to dig an exit now. We tried through this mining facility, but we failed terribly. Halfway up the mine shaft, the convulsions of the earth brought down the ceiling. We all watched in silence as the manic persistence of the kin of the men we lost who... All watched in silence at the manic persistence of the kin of the men we lost who kept digging long after the rest of us saw it was helpless. I fear the worst. Sleeth led us here, promising that the great tower will have plenty of supplies and offer protection from the storms above. At first it was as he said. We found uh, supplies aplenty, but they dwindle now, as does our initial naive optimism. Sleeth is telling us that the only way now is to find a way down to the lower floor. Today our stoutest and quickest, among them my apprentice, uh, depart on an expedition under his leadership. May the ancient spirits watch over them. Okay, I think that's the end. No, that's still not the end of the journals. Okay. So we have more journals still. And another mimic. Yes? No? It just opened for us. Vampiric Wood Wand of Sparks. Does 10% slow. Uh, two points of health per hit. It's pretty weak otherwise. And some crystals. And some metal tracks. Metal tracks of some sort. Old stories tell about them. Ancients used this technology to travel quickly over long distances. How quickly are we talking minecarts as a travel, as a way of travel? That seems a little unlikely. Magical minecarts. Oh, is that a reference to Minecraft? Because you can travel with by minecarts in that, right? I have never actually played Minecraft. Alright, so that's all dealt with. So we've got this battle. We've got this battle. I wonder if I should... You know what, we may as well just clean everything out of here, right? What's the quickest way to a teleport? Uh, back this way. This battle is not actually going to give us anything except some money, but... Alright, we got Earthcaller, Cyclops, and a bunch of orcs. Orc over there. These are... They're weak to water, air, and earth, but resistant to fire. It's an archer. You jump in here and take them. Nice, and you do the ent over here. And you blast everybody. They're getting wrecked. You move up a little bit and so you can hit them. Are they still Are these guys all on they're all on stand ground, eh? 
He's unmoved to attack. They're on stand ground. What's her range? Not far enough, apparently. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Smoke screen, bear traps? How about bear, some bear traps? Uh, he's a... Uh, yeah, put, put them down there. Oh, is he really gonna... Oh, there you go. Is she gonna blast him? That would be good. You attack him. Why are you running over there? Excuse me? Why don't you attack? Nice. Oh, you walked right into the poison, man. What are you doing? Uh... Hmm... Put the ant down there. What is this thing? Resistant to some stuff, you hit him with uh, ice. Yeah, he's taking care of them. Oh, he's done. Got more coming in. She is being targeted by that guy. Um, smoke screen. Raise the smoke cloud, teleports to selected location. Removes all threat. Yeah, move over here. Let's try that out, nice. Now oh, he's dead. And that is the end of them. Other than the fact it's got 2% stun days and blind chance, it's kind of crappy. Okay, so that's another battle completed. We got just the one left, apparently. Yeah, definitely gonna save before this one, because I expect it's gonna be... It should be fairly hard. I think the last two have been, like, way too easy. Hello, hugely grotesque gray shaman. Archer trainee, shaman trainee. So, Orc Chieftain is guarding the passage to the lower floor. Defeat him and his minions. Beware of the primal earth magic at his command. Earth, earth ball, fireball, air ball, freezing bolt. Mott of earth, right? A mott of earth. That deals 15 earth damage within 2 meters. Targets hit are poisoned for additional 30 earth damage over 10 seconds. Ow. He has an affinity to fire. His movement is slow. He's got a massive amount of health. And he's resist. He's got 30% resistance to everything except void, which I can't do right now. High Shaman of the Orcs, a title reserved only to those shaman who mastered the power of corruption and decay. Alright, and then a couple of trainees. Green-skinned creature of mysterious origin, equipped with a versatile hunting bow, its barbed arrows can pierce armor and some armor. Some parts of your armor. Some parts of your armor? Some parts of your armor. Oh, nice. Flames coming out of the ground. That's great. All right, so what do we got to deal with here? This is a trainee. This is an archer trainee. I'll start by you putting the ant down over there. 
And you can start by... Hmm. Well, you're just gonna go and like murder this guy, right? He's got hardly any health. Okay, he's done. Let's move him up. And let's power everybody. You get in there, start bashing him. Might as well do an arrow barrage on. Oh, okay. Nice. New boss stage. Oh, get out of there, my friend. Uh, who is the one that's got the big health damage? Is it the... It's the tree ant. I want you to move out of range. Oof. Not good. Okay, get back in there. He's down? Oh, he went down. Damn. Uh, she's about to get murdered. Oh, that was close. Okay, you gotta get out of here. You move over here. Hit him with that. Let's do health. Fire again. Well, I didn't actually mean to do fire, but sure. Boss is down to 1% health. Unfortunately, my guy got murdered. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention there. Hurricane Steel Buckler of Lesser f Airproof. So that's air resistance, also gives mastery, and has an open enchant slot. Healthy gold ring of mana pool. Two armor penetration, 10 points of mana, 2% magic penetration, one life, and it can be enchanted. You have unlocked new set of challenges, Savage Orcs. You can ac access them from the city, test your tactical skills in specifically designed combat encounters. Hmm. Okay. And let's see, you're not actually wearing any rings. You're wearing two. You're not wearing any. Let's check out where's the where's that new ring I just got? There. Um let's see. More mana, more life, magic penetration, armor penetration, I think. I think I'm gonna give them two that to you. Actually. That one does slightly less damage, adds more armor. Right, this is the one where you can switch between, I can switch between like earth and fire. Also has a 10% chance of dazing and pulls mana. That's pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice. Okay. We have got another enchant scroll. Magi Gloves. S reduces skill cooldown by 15%. Cool. Um, now that's where we were. And we've got a journal. Day two, day second of Devras Prime. We have finally reached the staircase to the lower floor. We've stopped here for a brief respite, though Sleeth is growing impatient for us to resume the descent. My aching body cringes at the prospect. He alone seems impervious to weariness. The steps, each as high as a man's knee, seem endless. 
We can glimpse the dimly lit ground below, at least 1,000 steps remain. Sleuth became very excited when we found the stairwell. He insisted that we all wait at the top while he goes down to investigate, but we all decided that we will go with him. We simply do not trust him anymore. So much time has passed since we left our camp. We all hope to find more food down there, and perhaps an even more accommodating place to live. I cannot wait to see my little Marcus again, and the smile on his face when I bring him sweets. We depart again soon, and we will send word back to our people as soon as we reach the bottom. I pity the man who draws the short straw and must make that grueling ascent. Right. An ancient chest with another buckler. And that's it. Right? We've cleared this entire area, yes. I guess. Is there a way for me to check that? Um, return to city? Will I be... I'm not sure if I'll get teleported right back here again if I do. I want to see if, uh, if I've actually done everything. Yes. Everything's cleared, except the descent. Awesome. Magic barrier. Descent to lower floor. As your champions approach the stairs to the lower floor, they notice a barrier blocking the passage. Ancient magic of the kind you have never encountered before. Coming closer, they sense its immense power. They probe the edge of the barrier carefully. Suddenly you realize that you understand the construction of this ancient spell, and you know how to dispel it. You compel one of your champions to approach the barrier and touch it. Aha. Uh -huh. Behold the power of my lord! Our mission is ordained by fate. No barrier will stand in our way. The tower avatar appears preoccupied. As Kane speaks, she raises her head and looks above, as if searching for something. It dawns on you that she is looking for you. You hear her voice in your mind. So, he has spoken to you. What lies did he spin this time? Did he promise you power beyond all imagination? Untold riches? Everlasting life? I mean, life everlasting? The animosity in her voice is crisp, but you don't understand what is the cause for this. So you will not even speak to me. Be warned, then. The one below will bring you no respite from the hardships above. He is far beyond the comprehension of mere mortals. Beyond even my own full understanding, you would be wise to resist his compulsions. How to respond, or even if to respond at all. A whisper in the back of your mind tells you that it would be dangerous. You remain silent, observing Tower Avatar through the eyes of your confused companions or champions. So be it. I will remain at your side then and continue to assist you. But know this: you must soon open your eyes and see the truth before he consumes your free will. What's wrong? Why don't you just hover there in silence and disappear without a word? She was not as silent as you think. I felt something. She was speaking to someone without the use of her voice. Did neither of you hear anything in your mind? Not I. Me neither. Curious. Most curious. Verily, there is much of which we are ignorant to in this place. Alright. Enough of the tower avatar. We have a long descent of ahead, ahead of us. We better get moving. Grinning hands her grinning hands her bow to Kane. And by the way, Horns, if you want to conserve your energy, Kay is more than happy to carry your gear. Oh, that's most courteous of you, Shield Guard. As Eric begins removing his gear, passing it to Kane, the Shield Shield Guard's eyes grow large. Wait, I uh Mave <laughs> uh, Descend to the lower level? I mean, what could go wrong, right? Level finished. You've completed this floor. You can remain here and continue to explore or descend to the next floor. Well, 3 of 3, 5 of 5, 3 of 3, 10 of 10, 14 of 14, 2 of 2, and 23 of 23. So, unless there's hidden stuff, it should be good. As your champions descend the long, dark stairwell to the next floor, you think about recent events. This tower has been at the epicenter of the visions you have had since your childhood, and you're finally exploring its depths. 
It had been buried underground for a long time, hundreds of years, perhaps thousands. He expected that it might be dangerous, but rather due to collapsed passages and rotting floors. Instead, you find it's full of ancient myths and hostile life of unexplained origins. Then there was a mysterious voice that spoke to you when time froze. It bestowed upon you something. Despite your abiding urge to reach the bottom of the tower, you feel as if you are a pawn on a chessboard, playing a part in a game with unknown rules. You sense the lifted spirits of your party as they round the corner to see the last of the steps. They have arrived. Excellent. Ah. Alright, teleport. We can teleport back. How much money do we have? We could upgrade. We could upgrade. Let's totally, totally upgrade somebody. Uh, Kane, Maeve, or Eric. Mm, let's do Maeve. And we're almost at the point where we can upgrade Eric too. That's pretty nice. Let's see, so we'll do... Um... Increase power of skills. Mm, pop a couple more in there. And some life, I think. Then go into the skill tree, and we've got a new skill, which is Hunter's Mark. Mana cost 30, cooldown 30 seconds, damage increase 15%, radius 3 meters. Marks enemies, enemies marked receive additional damage from all sources. That's cool. I can increase the radius of bear traps and the number by one. Cause bleed damage per second, two physical. Damage ignores armor, bleeding duration 15 seconds. Uh, smoke screen, that's the one that allows her to like teleport basically, right? Line duration 5 seconds, movement speed 25, duration 5, less mana cost, less cooldown, increases the range. Mm. So this one's already kind of maxed out, right? I got all of these. Fire, we could upgrade that. More damage. More critical chance. Explosive radius. Hmm. Let's do explosive radius. Oh, it actually switches over. Ew. Okay. Well, that's all right. Explosive radius, that's fun. And bear traps. Um, more of or bleed damage. Hmm. Oh, I can also upgrade this to the next level. Extra mana uh, increases damage. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go with the bear traps. Um, do I want more or do I want bleed? Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking bleed. Maybe. And that's... I already have those. Okay, that's, uh, that's it. I guess we're going to be saving some points. Alright, we will call that an episode. Thanks very much for joining me. We'll see you in the next one.